What's going on everybody out there? This is Popular Stranger and we are back today with episode number 36 of my Northwestern Dynasty in NCAA Football 14 and as you can see we are uh, in pre-week 14 as we do have a game against Illinois coming up the last regular season game of the year so we obviously need to win still number three in the country still knocking on the door for that BCS national championship and let's take a look at the BCS rankings because that's all that matters right now let's make sure we're still third there as well and we're not we're fourth and we're right behind Texas A&M um, so this is going to be a very very tough road to climb to get into the top two all three teams ahead of us don't really play anybody in the top 25 so that's not good we got to really hope that A&M Ohio State or TCU or two of the three lose a game uh, I believe that if we do win this game we will get into the Big Ten Championship so that would give us a chance to knock off Ohio State um, and Texas A&M should probably be in the SEC Championship and TCU should probably be in the Big Ten Championship so those are both basically uh, possibilities of them losing so we, we still have hope we're still keeping hope alive, but those two losses really did hurt us. Um, let's just take a look at the Heisman watch really quick here. And then I'm actually going to go back and check out the bowl projections because I want to see where they have us right now. So Trayvon, even after a really, really great performance last week with 192 yards, three touchdowns, still second in the Heisman voting. So he's going to have to have a really big game this week against Illinois. Johnny Manziel, Johnny Football, still up there at number one. Braxton Miller in third in the third spot. Brandon Williams, a halfback from AM, is in the fourth spot. And Taysom Hill, BYU's quarterback, is in the fifth spot. So again, let's just really quick go to the bowl projections. We should get into a BCS bowl, but obviously the goal is the national championship. So let's see. I would think maybe we'd be in the Rose Bowl at this point. Projected. No, they'd have us in the Fiesta Bowl against the Yukon Huskies out of the Big East. I think they're still in the Big East. I would have thought we would have been in the Rose Bowl. I guess not. So let's uh, let's check out recruiting. We've got a, a lot of people who committed uh, to our school. And then we're going to check out the... Let's check out the list first, and then we'll check out the recruiting class itself. As we wait for it to load here. We do have one guy, Mike Weaver, a halfback, uh, who is probably going to be redshirted. I'm sure he's going to end up coming here. Um, I have so many halfbacks that have committed and, and even a bunch of good ones too. So we're still going after da David Fontaine, defensive end. We have Eric Martin. He was a really, really late ad, but he's in the top 100 board, uh, 76 overall. And, and right now we do have the lead over Michigan, Miami, Ohio State, and Nebraska. Um, and he's going to be visiting this week, I think. Did I just say that? I think so. Um, but we've signed Mark Lawson, Jacob Morris, another good halfback, Joel, John Paul Cade, a pretty good wide receiver, Tariq Harris, another highly rated running back. We have our first athlete on the board, uh, which I'm interested to see what I can do with him. I'm going after a kicker now because we all know that my kicker is terrible. Um, and then kind of some low-end quarterbacks. You're going to see Rob Wal Walden here as a scrambling type quarterback, a three-star recruit. And there's another one down here, Maurice Harrison, another scrambler, a three-star recruit, 65 overall. So... Um, because of the, the guys that, that were kind of towards the top of the board that I wanted to grab, see another halfback here. I think this is the guy who's, who's going to be, uh, c coming here on the visit this week. This is Mike Weaver. Um, but another halfback, we're probably going to land. We're just loaded at running back. Um, so there's our recruiting board. We, we've got a lot of signees. I don't think we had this many in the first season. Um, I was hoping to get more better players but unfortunately we didn't let's take a look at the top classes and see where we are ranked i haven't looked at this so they wow they have us at 12th in the nation that's pretty good five four star recruits seven three stars and six one stars so they're giving us a ranking of 12th in the nation and that's that's pretty good who's number one florida 
Oklahoma, North Carolina, Miami, and Penn State round out the top five. Uh, but I'm pretty excited about that, especially with a couple other potentially good players that should be coming to Northwestern. Uh, next season is going to be quite interesting because we'll have a new quarterback, a new running back, um, a lot of new receivers probably. It's going to be quite some fun. Uh, I don't want to break anybody's heart, but my guess is, is that, and, and this isn't set in stone, but my guess is that the third season will be the last season. But we'll see. I don't know. If you guys keep supporting this series, um, maybe I'll keep it going. I don't know. I guess the whole recruiting aspect of it and getting all these new fresh players is kind of cool to me. Um, so maybe that'll keep my interest in it. Uh, Trayvon, still not number one in the rushing, uh, in rushing in the NCAA. He's pretty far behind this Lee guy from Air Force, so that's going to be tough. But I think that's a team that probably runs the ball 90% of the time. So I doubt we'll be able to get the rushing title. You see Youngblood not really ranking anywhere in the nation. Uh, Ellis still leading the nation in tackles with 48 solo tackles. Um, sacks, look at Lowry. He's rounding out the top six with nine sacks. Uh, he's a pretty good pressure guy there. I didn't expect anybody to be up in there in interceptions or kicking or anything like that. So there's kind of your league leaders. Um, and no, I don't want to exit Dynasty. Uh, so that's that. Uh, coming up in the next episode, we'll have Illinois, the gameplay against Illinois. I hope you guys are looking forward to it. Make sure you click that thumbs up. If you've been searching for NCAA Dynasties on YouTube and you came across this one, go back and make sure you check out all the other episodes. It's been a really fun ride. Definitely this season's been a lot of fun running and, and going crazy with Trayvon Green. Um, but make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click that thumbs up. I'm out. Peace.